having kids, Dude. having a job. Around that same time, I was following lots of uh, old school Renaissance blogs and for D and D, like not D and D specifically, but like it was the OSR is kind of a term for all of the kind of open source kind of you want to call it like recreations mm -hmm. of older RPGs. When we, we when we did tabletop, we were playing some combination of Swords of Wizardry and Labyrinth Lord. Because right. you know there's like so many different versions of D&D, &D, but they're yeah. like um, public domain recreations of yeah. the rule sets. Mm -hmm. But there was this blogger uh, called... The blog was called Grognardia. Because <laughs> anything like Grognard. I, I'm, I'm familiar with its connotation more than its original like, context. Like, I, think it, I, I think it's supposed to refer to like war gamers, kind of like old, old yeah. crusty old gamers kind of yeah. deal. Um, but he had... what he. A lot of it's moved to Google Plus now, I think. But, like, at the time, his blog was kind of, like, one of the focal points, like, in the OSR. Like, hmm. But it, the, he did lots of cool stuff, too. Like, I think he's kind of divisive in the scene. But, um, he, uh, would do, like, retro, like, you know, looks at old games and look at old episodes, or, like, magazine, like, Dragon Mag Dungeon and... There's, there, there's there's actually a dungeon and a dragon magazine. Are there really? Yeah, yeah. There, I thought that there your were. brain was just breaking for a no, second. No, no. I was thinking like with a dun uh, dragon, dungeon dragon magazine. <laughs> no, they, I, yeah, there were definitely two different things. But wow. Like he would just look at all that old stuff. So it was kind of like cool, like weird D and D archaeology kind of things. I guess I just never really thought about how it overlapped so much with stuff like this. But mm. there was a huge Kickstarter debacle with him. That like it was really kind of sad. Like, uh, well. So, are you familiar with the concept of a mega dungeon? Not really. It's like, um, in, in some tabletop RPG, like, environments, you might have, like, one mega dungeon that, like, your campaign revolves around. So it might be, like, dozens of levels or something like that. Oh. And your, your party spends, like, you know, months or years delving into it, and the world is built around that dungeon. It's crazy. Yeah, so it's like, it, like you know, like it might be a huge, like... So you, like, don't go back to town and stuff? No, like, yeah, you might go back to town, like, you might have a world outside of it, but, like, your goal is to, like, go down oh, through okay. this dungeon. And then, you know, it might have its own ecosystems and, like, civilization, you know, all sorts of stuff. It could be really nuts. It's crazy. But, uh, he, he... They tend, I think, to emerge out of, like, your homebrew session, you know what I mean? So you're, like, playing it. Um, but, uh... They're kind of organic like that, but a lot of people will try to publish them or publish starts to them. And he tried to Kickstarter his, cause it was called Glimmermount, mm -hmm. and it was kind of, it got funded and like overfunded and stuff like that, and then he, like it never came out. Mm. Um, but it was kind of sad, like his, I think actually his dad died. Like, so it was just like, it was a lot of like personal stuff going on, mm -hmm. but he like completely dropped off the face of the earth. Like for years, wow. and like I think he's kind of back, and I think it finally came out. Ooh, I th look at this. Ooh, Agama, Agama. I think it finally came out though, because someone else might have finished it, or he. I, I don't know the specifics, but hmm. but then his you know his blog was never updated again, so it kind of lost its focal point, and yeah, that'll happen though. And Sometimes it moves a life to... event just makes you drop off the face of the internet. No, no, I, 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 yeah, I think it's understandable. I've just done that before. It's... Yeah, it was just yeah. It was pretty nuts. It's just a weird turning point. The, uh, uh, the reason I had that, all that in my head is because it was kind of, it seemed in my head around the same time that, uh, Ready Gamer kind of slowed down a little bit. Oh, too. Yeah. The other cool blog <laughs> that I think is still going is CPR, CPRG, well, jeez, CR, <laughs> CRPG Addict, <laughs> who, should, who should we, we should totally link because his blog is pretty awesome. CRPG addict. He his project is arguably crazier than ours. What's he's that? attempting to play through every single CRPG ever released, and he he's been going for years. I, I want to say he's still going. Like he blogs them, and uh, you know does like blogs through his playthroughs, and he has his own set of rules for how many hours he'll spend on them, and then he rates each one. Like it's nuts. It's like his like hobby. That's a lot. That's it's a really lot cool. It's do. really cool. Yeah, he's still updating. Jeez. Crazy. Oh, dude, it's great, though. Oh. We're in a giant asterisk now. <laughs> oh, wow. For the British flag. <laughs> Union Jack. What is this? Is this a room full of candles? Ooh. Go talk to those candles. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, it's just a goim. Goim. 
I kind of want to talk to these candles soon, so. I would like to talk to this candle soon. Sorry about my, uh, my, uh, focused oh, oh, OS, OSR. Man, this is crazy. So he started in 19... He's going chronologically. It started in 1975, and I think he's on... 1992. Jesus. There, Jesus. Look at this list of games that he's played. But it's Just, like, like, look at me scroll through them. It becomes completely impossible. Like... He's playing all. He's playing off a specific list. Um, what list? Uh, he has a ma his own master list that he. Uh, I think it was possibly a combination of like. Oh, there's some site that hmm, organizes them. And he's going. He'll do those occasional backtracking, but it's it's nuts. Like he, yeah. Like I can only imagine. Yeah, let's see. Very ambitious. He, he doesn't necessarily play through all of them to the end, but mm -hmm. um Ooh, Red Giants. Ooh Rad Giant. Rad Giant. And they're very like they're very orange salmon. salmon. I, can, I can kinda of see that a little bit. You can? I can't. Can you bit. see their their purple necklace and No, that okay. I can't, but I can see their cool orange color. Yeah, it's pretty dope. It's very vibrant. Anyway, Sierra is is pretty cool. Yeah, we, can we, link should, to we it. should absolutely link that. It seems like that would just be like the thing that you do. Like that's your one hobby at that. Point. I, I think that is kind of how it is. Okay. Which is fair. I mean, a lot of people only have one hobby. It's fine. Yeah. I don't know. It was really cool. Like I, I was following him for a really long time, and like there was a certain time I think when like he didn't tell his wife that he was doing it. Um, Weird. But like, and. It's been, I think then he told her and it was like, it was totally fine and it's become like really successful and he has lots of people, I don't know, it just seemed like it was really good, like it was a really nice hmm. thing. Um, that's kind of awesome. I just really think it's so cool that, that there aren't lots of things on the internet that stay consistent for so long. But, yeah, very little lasts that long. But like, this is like since the beginning of when I was in grad school, so he has to been probably doing this for like three or four years at least, like consistently. That's wild. <laughs> it's really cool. They're like screenshot kind of LPs a little bit. Oh, he's actually like like he he'll take occasional screenshots and he'll he'll do write ups of each okay. session. It almost seems like more work than just making a bunch of videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I mean, like he has his own. He calls it the his reviewing scheme is called the Gimlet, because uh, he has the he has an acronym for what he rates each game on, and then he compares them all, and he has like a few, he has like an accessible spreadsheet of ratings and stuff. Like, Jesus. it's really cool. I kind of admire his attention to detail. <laughs> it's cool, but also like terrifying. Like, yeah. So Whoa. Much. This is cool, though. This place is pretty cool. The one place on this on this planet, by the way, that you need candles inside of a <laughs> inside volcano. Of the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, how are they not just little puddles on the ground? Poodles. Common cast heat. Little little poodles. Little poodles. Sorry, I've been talking. Yep, yipping and yapping. I've been yipping and yapping. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. You. you know. Oh, I'm sorry. Blah blah blah. Blabity blabity blabity. I, I've been playing some game. What have you? Oh, oh. oh God! It's a red D. <laughs> it is a red D, you're right? No. Anyway, shit, man. R E D D. What was I? What was I saying? I've been uh, I've been playing a game or two. What are you playing? Uh, I've been playing that kittens game. Oh my gosh. It's oh my gosh. really good. It's something Tumblr hath bequeathed upon me. It's super fascinating. We should link that. In the... I'm at like the steel age of of oh my god civilization. Really? I have like 55 kittens, Whoa. and like I'm developing observatories. You should and tell people what steam, this is. Steam works. Okay, so like I've talked about incrementer games before and how they're fun. If you're a terrible person like me, um, Corey linked me to this game. Where it's a lot like the original Candy Box, if you've ever played that game, but you have kittens, yeah. and you're developing a kitten civilization, <laughs> and, <coughs> like, originally, like, you are, you yourself are a kitten, you're in the middle of a catnip forest, and you're just trying to gather catnip. Yeah, you are. But then, like, you can start building houses to house other kittens, 
-hmm. who can start gathering catnip for you, and who can eventually start uh, refining the catnip into catnip logs, which is functionally just wood, and yeah. using those to build other things, and like you keep doing this, and you keep finding new resources and discovering other animal civilizations to trade with, and like uh, researching new science to. It's like a season system, and like. Yeah, it has seasons, which eventually become totally irrelevant. To be honest once with you, you. Once, once your science conquers nature. Yeah, science conquers nature, and nature has no impact on... Ooh. Flame armor. Whoa. Whoa. All right, Tony. Uh, 3854. Fifty-four, fifty-two. That's actually really good. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that game's really interesting and really fun. It keeps like there's there keeps it keeps adding more layers in. Like it seemed really complicated. Yeah, like, like has... I'll have to show you what my current kitten game look, looks like. Yeah, like I, I have like this. A, over a dozen different resources oh that I have to manage, and like I'm working on my kitten religion now. Uh, I've been oh building gosh. temples, and like if you contribute the faith that you build up, as well as gold. Um, to, to your religion you can unlock new religion upgrades and stuff and like I don't know it's just like it's whole this whole crazy thing the thing that seems really cool about it is it like I you can't really see any of it ahead of time kind of like you kind of sort of can as you un, as you get nearing to unlocking yeah, it but mm -hmm. it's like it's full of surprises yeah like suddenly you'll just like see that there's a new building that you can start working on we're gonna I, run out of heels that's okay should we try to leave I no just try to push through. Yeah, maybe not. How close are we? What level? Are we in level five? We're we're on the bottom level, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know where the boss is. I think we should just try and find the boss. Ooh, that's dangerous. Like if we just die down here, we have to do all this over. We should again. we should go out. Do we have an access spell yet? No. What I'm thinking we do is look up where the boss is and just go straight to the boss. Room. What if we die though? Well, what if, what if we what if we kick its tush? I think we might, at this point, die on our way out. <laughs> oh, you're right. I feel like the only way out is through. Okay, you're right. Um, I, don't, I don't have enough battery. All right, one moment, please. I mean, we could just try to book it out of here. I think we should book it out. Let's see. I feel like someone knew magic to warp or something. That would be nice. Invis do. Inv. It's a evasion spell for in, in battle. No, I guess warp was a class lock. Ugh. I'm just gonna start running for everything. All right. Okay. So well, yeah. I, I think I think what we're gonna try to do is leave here and uh, not die on the way out, and then go to the place where you can actually rank up your jobs because we forgot yeah. to do that first. So yeah part of why this is so hard right now. <laughs> Does it make you stronger when you get a new job? I think also, it might increase some of your base stats. I'm not totally sure, though. Also, how... I mean, it's totally... Fe um, Cremate. Jesus. It's totally reasonable that... That's a terrifying word for that. Yeah. Um, but it's reasonable that you would go here first, right? I mean, Ooh, this, this part of the game is pretty open. You can kind of... Yeah. Go in a lot of different directions, I feel like. Yeah. So you could potentially do this. We just kind of picked the harder route. It yeah, like. I think so. Wow. Well. Are we out? Are we out of heals? We are out of healing items, which is part oh, of why. Oh god! I got nervous. Oops. We just gotta try to book it. One person has to survive. Yeah. Wait, what? Damn. Fuck. All right. Maps. I need. I need this. I need this map. Yes. Because I can't just run around, waste time. Apparently, you can't run from combinations of whiz ogres and Cerberuses. I don't think I've seen that combination. Mm, yeah. I don't Oh man. What's up? Did we get the ice sword? 
No, that's a thing. We should probably get more. He says it's good. It's a huge upgrade over anything else you've seen, both in terms of attack and hit rate. Is it in this dungeon? Uh, yes. Somewhere. Oh, hold on. Oh, it says the scariest monster on this floor and possibly the entire game are the super rare red D's. Oh, we encountered one and we killed it. Our giants That's, are also. Uh, it says put up a fire as soon as Red D appears, even if you intend to run. Hmm. Okay. Apparently these guys are bad news too. Maybe we just haven't been getting getting lucky. I don't know. I mean, we encountered one, but I thought it was on like a set square because it was right in front of a chest. Okay, this is all on the second to bottom floor, I think. No, that's where we are. Because I think this has... Flame sword? Flame shield? Ice sword? Oh, I think you're probably cool. I think it's Cerebus? Cerebus. That's not how that's normally spelled. Kiribus. I'm gonna fight him. Just because we haven't fought one before. Excellent. Doing it. Yeah, there's some cool stuff on f floor number four. Well, when we come back, we will look for more things, but... Yes. I don't want to take the time. At least leveled up. That's something. Yeah. Lighting ourselves on toasty. fire. Mm -hmm. Toasting our toes. I know I'm going back to the surface. I don't know the why, stairs why, why the backwards. stairs look weird, but... Scorch! Shit. Mm. That's part of the problem is that a lot of these enemies have yeah. group burn spells. I think you're right. I think that's... That must be what Art Red D and... God damn it. Our giant do, also. If you let them. The Red Dragon definitely does that. Does he Scorch, or does he have his own deal? He has cremate. Oh, and it does it like 80 to each person or something. That's the shit. Terrifying. Part of it is that, like, the floor damaging you is also taking its toll. Yeah. On our... It didn't seem so bad on the way down. Yeah. But now, but you just end up using a bunch of heals just to heal your way through the floor. Oh my god. god. But, you know, we leveled up a little bit. Yeah. Got some money. We had used up a big chunk of our money on spells and stuff. That's true. I guess, yeah, that's why um, I couldn't enter from the base of the volcano. You enter from the top, from the caldera. So we're going and down. And you descend the into the volcano. Oh, that makes sense. This is the caldera. Oh, yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. That you get actually me? makes a lot of sense. You get me? This is pretty cool, actually. Alright, I'm gonna tent out here. Oh my goodness. We did it, we survived. Yeah, we survived our way out. Now we need to go get some items. Yeah, we need to look elsewhere. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at the little canoe so cool. But what we might do is uh, get back to town and. Cutter? And yeah, I think so. Friday. I think that's a good idea. Then we can start off with a bang. Yeah. Hopefully. 
Should be enough for a Friday episode. And a couple yeah. more. Depending on what Probably at cut. least two. Maybe three. Yeah. Just depending on how much of this gets cut out. Because we've had a significant portion. Yeah. And going going back running back down. Tis the nature of the beast. But I pray we can record nice and late because I open. Or no, sorry, I close on Saturday. Oh, so. that's awesome! Yeah, and I don't have I don't have anything doing really. You're just talking about having to do a little it's bit of that work. User but manual. We'll see how much I get done today and tomorrow. You gonna try to do more work when you get home? Or sorry, I'm I'm thinking it's Thursday already. I'm in uh, tomorrow <laughs> and today. Whoa. <laughs> Poison, poison patrol over here. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Couple scorps. Couple. Couple scorps. Couple scorps. Couple. Wait, what's the other one? Snake. Couple snake. Couple snake. Couple style. All right. I'm just gonna set this over. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, mean, I, I can recreate it for you. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop. <laughs> back we didn't die yes we bought we... a shitload of potions and next time we're ne gonna next time we're gonna go somewhere else i realized i was looking through the guide because i kind of forget things about this game um we could have gone to the cave of ordeals and gotten our oh, our job I upgrades didn't know that, actually. so that's where we're gonna go next time um i think that's part of why gurgle volcano was kind of kicking our ass a little bit we were lucky that we made it out pretty okay and we got a couple levels out of it and a bunch of experience mm -hmm. gold and stuff got some like, equipment there's more down there I think. there's more down there like i ended up like going really fast to try to get to the boss and then even then we just i don't think we were gonna make yeah. it so we delved too deep delved too too deep so next time we're gonna go somewhere else and then we'll swing back by and finish up yeah Gurgu volcano so hopefully uh this week this friday we're gonna get all of that done in one night oh i think so crush it we so. should have two orbs yeah next we close yeah, we're going to take a nap at this inn, and uh, this is a little bit of a short, short session, so you get another intro soon. But anyway, yeah, we'll see you next time. We love you forever. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good nap. Have a good nap.